Hmm. Freedom 35 from the heart of the Trailer Park. The Trailer Park Boys Lager. Got a crisp, refreshing beer. Uh, this decent lager pairs well with hockey, pepperoni, and the good buddies. Mm hmm. Keep your beer cold. Where is this from? Guelph, Ontario. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually wouldn't make a bad summer beer. It's not uh, not my usual, but I figured I'd try something different. Plus, you know, Canadian content. Do you remember these things from uh, Mailbag a long time ago? I'll, I'll find the listing and put it up there uh, and down in the description, of course, as usual. What these things are really for is they're coolant lines for, like, machinists and their, uh, their machines. The workpiece gets hot, so you got to spray coolant and lube on it. Um, and so this is a quarter inch pipe thread, quarter inch NPT pipe thread, um, which is different than pretty much any other bolts and nuts and whatever else. I thought it was close at one point, or is it? I thought it was close to the thread on these lug nuts, but not quite. The pitch is wrong. What am I using them for? I am going to use them to build a different kind of helping hands rig. Um, this one is good. I like it. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's okay, I guess. They're cheap. Everybody's got one of these things. They're all over the place. Uh, but I've seen several people build helping hands is using these things um, and mount uh, some kind of an alligator clip up in the working end here. So I've got that kind, this kind, which is a little bit bigger. And what else have I got in here? I've got some of these ones, which are smaller. They're, you know, the same, same, same ones that are on those wires there. So I think I'm going to, since I've got six of these things, I'm going to try a few of each, maybe a couple of each, and uh, just see what happens. Now, for most of them, um, that's the size of a banana plug, um, or the plug in the back end of your, your test probes. So that won't fit in there. I'm going to have to drill that out, maybe have to cut it back a little bit. That'll be fine. These ones, I think I should be able to put in there, just jam in there. These ones are a similar size. They're a little bit deeper and they're a little bit wider. So that's why I've got a different kind there. So let's toss some of those guys out there. And what else? Oh yeah, for the for the threaded end, you gotta thread them into something for a base. I found at your big box hand hardware store these pipe caps which are quarter inch NPT and they just thread right on there with no real resistance at all. So that's that. I was trying to find flanges, pipe flanges, but I couldn't find them. Um, at least I couldn't find them locally. I'm sure I could have ordered them from China, but these were like 90 cents a piece. So that appealed to my inner cheapness. So there's that and that, and then I'll, I think, I'll end up drilling a hole through there and then screwing this onto a piece of wood that I can just put on my bench when I want to use these things. Um, I think, so, yeah, I think I'll put four of them on, two up here and two back here, something like that, and we'll see what happens. I mean, it's a cheap project. I'll maybe modify it as time goes on, as I experiment with it and work with it and find what I like and what I don't like. Or maybe to scrap the whole thing after trying it a few times. Who knows? So there is a variety of these projects that people have done. Some homemade ones like this. It looks like a cutting board. And this actually looks like the pieces off that uh, helping hands that I already have. So it's an interesting option. There's one commercial version with a machined out aluminum base. Now they've got the threads tapped into the base there. And that's another option too. Um, a quarter inch NPT pipe thread tap is 10 plus dollars. So that's well, maybe an option. I don't know. Uh, here's another commercial one. This one looks like, what is that? Oh, that's a little fan for blowing your solder fumes out of the way. That's cute. If you search for third hand, which a lot of these things are called, you'll find odd things. Um, here's another homemade one that somebody did really janky 
but that's okay. That looks like just, I don't know, the back out of a case of something, some plumber's pipe strap and yeah, tie wraps and clothespins. Sure. I don't think I'm going to go that far, but mine's probably going to look not much less janky. Um, there's another interesting one. It's got a mag base and this little Y connector. I couldn't find that Y connector separate. I could find the pieces of it and I couldn't find, um, a mag base with the thread on it, except for I could, you could find the whole kit, which is still expensive. I mean, these things, this is why I'm not, uh, initially going to buy a commercial one. Even this one with only two arms on it down here is like 18 bucks plus another nine something shipping. And there's our old friends there. Yeah, 40 bucks. Okay, there's there's that one that we saw before, only it's got a little clip on it for $23. Wow. And, yeah, I mean, that's... That kind of price, it's worth the effort of trying to build your own, I figure. And even if it wasn't, it's just fun to try and build your own thing, isn't it? I think so. So I figure I'm just going to use this piece of masonite. It's actually backing from an old cupboard, but whatever, as the, as the base part. And I'll use this piece of like one by two or something to sort of go around the three sides of it. And maybe even only two sides. I think I might do three sides. And just screw the uh, oh, the pipe cap down onto that, and yeah, hopefully that should work. Let's start with the easy one, just the little guy here. I should just have to kind of squeeze that down a little bit and jam it in. I'm assuming I'm going to need epoxy on all of these. Yeah, okay, that fits in there. It can only really open up that much. Oh, that's as thick as a circuit board. Maybe I'll just do one with the little guy, just because. Okay, so that's that one. And then these two different larger ones are both sized for a banana jack on the back side, but I think I can tighten them down a little bit. Again, with my trusty old pliers here. Just so I don't have to drill the thing out quite so much. Because I don't want to weaken it horribly. Yeah, that's good. Not the recommended method here. But it's only plastic, so it doesn't take much pressure. Oh, that fits. I'm just going to use some GB Quick Weld here, which is the basically five minute epoxy version of GB Weld. I tested a bunch of different epoxies out almost a year ago on my channel, I guess. Um, and this one was one of the ones that came in pretty close to the top of the pile. Full on JB Weld was the other one that, uh, as you might expect, turned out very, very well in my, in my little tests. It wasn't, you know, perfect test, but I'll, I'll try and link it up there. And in the description, as usual. Damn it, I'm turning into one of those YouTube guys that uh, is so uh, that keeps cross promoting himself all over the place. I'm not sure if I like turning into that guy. So, uh, 
gob of that on there. Not quite sure how much we're going to need. It'll squeeze out, I suppose. Oh, yes, it will. I'm going to get in there. Okay, well, that's something. Gob some in there. Smear it around on there. Hmm. You can see some inside there. That's okay. Take some of that squeeze out onto the next one. I wonder if a toothpick will help me get a bit more down inside there. Because I think that's what I want. A good coating inside so that it makes a good contact and then again just blob some on there clean that up a little bit I don't really want a collar on there I just kind of want it to stick I can feel this stuff starting to stiffen up already, which I guess makes sense. I've been all over here and recording here seven minutes since I started mixing and started squeezing it out, so that's fine. And the last one. I'm going to have to be stingy with this. I've got lots left. Ooh. I do have to actually get it down inside there though. Not just all on the outside here. Okay, and there's the fourth one. How am I going to stand him up to dry? Oh, that'll work. Okay, time will pass. I'll let this epoxy set up on these guys and I'll come back. 20 minutes later. Okay, looks like the glue is set up. So, let's see what happens. Actually, I'm going to screw these things in tighter and uh, give them a try out here. That's not bad. So, what will that hold? Okay, let's see if it'll, do I have a board around here? Of course I have a board around here. How about this one? Okay, that'll work. I'm going to bring another one in from the other side. That's actually fairly stable even. That's cool. I think this is going to work. One last thing that I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put some heat shrink over the jaws of these guys so that I don't damage what I'm soldering or what I'm working on. Just shrink some of this on there. You saw that I'd done that on my other helping hands thing too. Yeah, that works. Ah, get on. That's good. All right, I'll just do that to the rest of them, and I think we'll call that a project done. I can't do much more because I'm almost out of beer. Um, well, thanks everybody for sticking around on this. I hope uh, hope you found it interesting. Um, if you do your own version of something like this, I'd love to see you uh, throw a link in the comments down below. Um, I know several other people have uh, a whole bunch. I mean, everybody from Adam Savage to uh, Paul over at Learn Electronics Channel has built their own. And now I've done mine too. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.